Imagine growing all your social media accounts without lifting a finger, posting unique, valuable content multiple times a day automatically across all your platforms. Sounds too good to be true? Well, let me show you exactly how it's done. We all know that posting consistently drives growth, but who really has time to post three or four times a day? With this AI powered social media automation, you can turn the latest news and insights for any topic or niche into unique posts that go out on X, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and more. Now you might've run into some clickbait videos before promising 100% automation only to find out that you still need to do all of these manual things. But what makes this different is it's fully automated. I literally mean we're gonna set it up, you flip a switch, and that's it. And to do this, we're gonna be using Make, which is a visual automation platform that makes building what would be complicated as easy as playing with Lego. First, I'll show you how to create a special feed that'll pull in all the latest information for your topic or niche. Then we'll use AI to take that information and transform it into unique posts, including images for all your social platforms. And then we'll automate all the posting to go out out on all your channels. I'm gonna make this super easy for you to follow, walking you through everything step by step. In fact, I'll be sharing my exact setup file with you so you can just grab that, import it in, make a few adjustments, and start growing your social on autopilot. The only thing I ask is that you please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'm super excited for this, so let's jump right in. The first thing you need to do is to create a free Make account. Just click the link in the description below and you can get set up with that in a few seconds. Then once you've created your account, click on scenarios and hit create new scenario. Now to make things as easy as possible, the next thing you wanna do is import the blueprint that I've made for you. So just go to more, import blueprint, choose file and grab my blueprint. I've linked it down below if you haven't downloaded it already. Again, it's free. And then once you do that, you can see everything pop up right here. And don't worry, I'm gonna explain every single module here and how it works and exactly what you need to do. So starting from the left, the first thing we need to do is get all the information that we'll be using to create the social media posts. So all of the latest news, insights, articles, or whatever you want your source to be. And the way we're gonna grab that is using this module right here. And this module uses something called rss.app and that's right here. Click the link below to grab a free trial for that. Once you've created your account and logged in, click on new feed. And now you have a number of ways to get this information. You could get a website and create a feed from that. It could be Instagram. You could do Google news and you could just type in your topic. Let's say it was AI tools. And then you could just grab this news feed and go in here and just paste it in here. And, and you would just get this URL right here. Or you could just simply type it just here without having to use an external site. You could say AI tools for entrepreneurs. And let's say this is my topic, right? But obviously you would type your topic and you could see it's populated that right there. And again, you could create a feed from almost anything, a Reddit thread that you follow, Telegram, it could be YouTube, Instagram, really any source that you go to to get the latest information, you could take that, personalize that content, create unique posts and send them out on social. And that's what's gonna establish you as a thought leader in your space. For the sake of simplicity, let's just go with the one where we just type some keywords and got RSS to do all the searching for us. This is great. So now just copy this and then go back to make.com, click on this right here, and then just paste in your XML file. And that is it. Now, we always wanna test every module. So I'm unlinking it here so we can just test this module. And then what you wanna do is go choose where to start because right now it's going to look for the next article that gets posted and we don't wanna wait, right? So you can actually just go choose where to start and pick from what it can already pull. And so you can see it's working because it's pulled all this great content and you can just click on this and just go run and you can see that it did pull it. And this is kind of the output of what it came up with. Awesome. So we can see right there the title of what it pulled in the output. Now, the next thing we wanna do is take that article and summarize it so that we can make social posts out of it. So we're gonna do that using Perplexity AI. You could also do this with ChatGPT or Claude or whatever your preferred AI 
large language model is. Just click on the perplexity module that I've already set up for you. And again, you can change this to ChatGPT if you prefer. You could just go here and go add ChatGPT, create a completion, and instead of perplexity, you can unlink this and you can do it with ChatGPT. But I'm actually gonna show you ChatGPT later so let's stick with perplexity. That way you have an example for both. And again, it'll work the same with Claude or whatever else you like. So just simply click on this module and now you will have to add your connection. So if you hit add, you'll see it's asking for an API key. Go to perplexity.ai, click on the configuration settings and then click on API. Then the next thing you wanna do is just load like $5. Honestly, $5 will last you an eternity. You can see I've only used 24 cents. So it's super cheap. And so just add five bucks. And then after you do that, you'll be able to generate an API key like you see here. Then just copy your API key, come back to perplexity. You don't have to change any of this. Just paste in your API key, hit save, and now it is authenticated. You've connected perplexity. And you can change the model if you want. I would leave this alone. And then you can see I've already written the prompt for you. You are an AI tools expert. And again, change this to whatever your industry is. If you are a keto weight loss expert or you are a master accountant, whatever it is, right? So in this case, we're doing AI tools. And summarize this article. And what it's doing is it's dynamically grabbing this URL. I said it's like Lego and it really is. So you can see here, it says URL and this is the one that it's always gonna output. So every time this one runs, it's gonna output a different URL automatically. Instead of you having to give perplexity that URL every time, it's smart, makes automatically entering that variable for you. So this variable always changes based on, on the output of this module every time it runs. So it's already set up for you and you can see that post right there and it's saying to summarize all of the outputs. Be sure to include the URL for the actual tools mentioned. So make sure you edit this post for your exact use case but you have a template here to start from and then you just hit okay now you might want to test this so again because we don't we want to choose where to start so it runs immediately and we don't have to wait till the next article gets posted then you just pick one and you hit run once and so now it's got an article and we can see what that article is seven content business ideas and now it's sending it to perplexity to complete and to make the summary of. Let's see if Perplexity did it. You see output choices plus one message content. Perfect. It's written a whole bunch of insights for itself to use or ChatGPT in the next step. See, I told you this was easy, right? So the next thing you see here is a router and what this is gonna do is take that one output and run multiple commands at the same time and that's how we're gonna be able to create separate posts for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And I've given you three examples here but you could add LinkedIn, you could add Pinterest, you could add another Twitter account or whatever you wanted or another social or Instagram account, whatever you want. So starting with Facebook, if you click on ChatGPT here, you'll see we have to authenticate our account again. Just go to platform.openai.com and you can create a free account if you haven't already. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to billing and you are gonna go add some money. And again, you only need to load five or $10 here and it'll last forever. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to general and get your organization ID and then you're gonna go to your profile, click on use your API keys and generate your API. And again, it's the same as perplexity. And once you've done that, just paste that information in here and hit save. Okay, next. You don't need to change this or the model if you don't want to. I've already set it up for you. These work fine. You wanna leave the role on user and then you can see the prompt. You're a social media expert. Your job is to write an engaging post for Facebook from the following article summary. And then again, just like Lego, we're going back and this time we're grabbing the output dynamically from perplexity. So we're gonna go and get the content it created for ChatGPT to then use. And so you can see that I've written a prompt specific for Facebook here. And you can see the characters and about emojis. You can see I've kept it very similar for Instagram, but there are some changes. And you can see for X or Twitter that the character limit is actually 280. So I've already done this for you. So all you need to do is just authenticate ChatGPT three times here 
for these modules. And in fact, I think when you authenticate it once, it just automatically authenticates the others. You might not have to do that three times, but if you do, no big deal, just paste all of the information each time. Now, the next step is to simply log into Facebook. It's super easy. You don't need any API keys or anything. Just go up here, hit add, hit save, and just log into your account. Continue and boom, that's it. And now you can see I've already set this up. And again, it's using the same thing. This time around, it's saying, hey, grab the content from ChatGPT Facebook post completion. You can see that right there, choices, message. Now, one thing I recommend you do is to rename all of these modules cleanly. I've already marked them all for you, but if you do end up adding like a LinkedIn one, make sure you rename it and say LinkedIn post writer or whatnot, because that's what's gonna make sure that you don't pick the wrong thing whenever you're configuring something. And now in the Instagram example, I also wanna show you how to add an image. So you can see there's an additional module here to add an image, and you could have added the same thing for Facebook, for example. You can see here, create an appropriate image for this Instagram post. Again, we're grabbing the post we already wrote and here are all the information that it, the bot needs to adhere to. I've already written it for you, all the specifications, so you don't need to worry about any of this. And again, you just need to hit okay. That's gonna come out for you. And then Instagram, again, all you need to do is hit add and log in. And again, it's going to be selecting the data you get. So the photo URL, once again, we see, oh, okay, data, image, URL. That's what we needed from this one here. So it's very simple. We're just pointing to the things from the previous output. And the caption, well, no problem. We're gonna point to the output from this one. And you can see I've done it for you already. And that's it. So right now, we've already set up Facebook and Instagram. And now that you've finished configuring all of these social platforms, now we're ready to test everything. Just right click here, go choose where to start, select an item from the RSS feed. Let's pick this one. Then just hit run once, and you can see it fetched the article correctly. Now Perplexity is gonna write the summary so that these modules here can use it to write each of the posts and create the image for Instagram. Great, so that went through. Great, Twitter just got posted. ChatGPT is writing this. Dolly3 is creating the image for Instagram. Perfect, it just did that. And now it's posting to Instagram. And finally, Facebook. Now we just need to hop over to our social platforms and see what happens. So perfect. You can see right here, it just made this post for us. So if we go to make.com, elevate your social media game with AI, elevate your social media game with AI, that's the image it made for us. And you'll notice that it listened to our instructions of not including text because generative images in AI right now, they don't do text well. Sometimes it can mess up. So a good thing is to keep that out. And I've already written that prompt for you. So that is pretty cool right there. Now let's check out Facebook. Boom, one minute ago, you can see that post right there. And lastly, let's take a look at X. There you go, one minute ago, it just posted. So the final step now is to decide how often you want this to run. So just go to schedule setting and you can set this in minutes. So obviously if you put 60, it'd be every hour. Here I have 360, so that's every six hours. But you can choose once daily if you want, like you could say every day, days of the week, once and so on and so forth. So let's just keep it at what I have it now, every six hours. And then you just hit on and that is it. And then from now on, it's gonna grab a new asset from whatever source you gave it, summarize it and send it out on all of the platforms. Now, I wanna give you one final tip and that is troubleshooting with AI and getting help from AI. So let's say you wanted to add LinkedIn. You could just go to this AI beta right here and say, add a LinkedIn module as well, just like I have for Facebook, Insta, and X. And I'm giving you a simple prompt here. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna actually build out the logic for you. You sometimes still have to tweak it. It's not perfect, because think about how complicated what you're asking it to do is, but it gets you 80, 90% of the way there. And sometimes even when you run into an error, you can actually just ask it. So you can see it's smart, it just did it for us. And then all we would do then is configure this just like we did this and log in. So that's how easy it is to automate your entire social media strategy. If you got some value out of this, do me a favor and hit that like button if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel for more 
more content just like this. In fact, here is another awesome automation tutorial you should check out right now.